Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews. Welcome back to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. Kind of a rainy day today. Hadn't really planned on doing a review, but I'm inside. I figured I would since it's raining out. So haven't done anything from Throwback for a while out of Northampton, New Hampshire. So today I'm going to do their spring-summer offering. It's the Throwback Brewery, and it is their double dividdy do. It is a smoked beer. Comes in with an alcohol by volume of 7.0% ABV. Again, this is a beer that comes out late spring, runs through the early summer, so here it is July, so it's still in season, at least for a little while longer. It's a smoked double brown ale is what it is. And Throwback is one of those uh, new age of breweries in New Hampshire that, uh, whoa, that really popped open, <laughs> my goodness, that uh, started showing up about uh, four or five years ago, about four years ago maybe. They, they were one of the early nano breweries to sort of... Uh, uh, take hold here. In the last year or two, we've seen a lot of new nanos and microbreweries open up. This was one of the first of the new wave, as it were. So let's give it a pour, and it's really, whoa, foamy here. My, oh, my, oh, my. I'm not sure how well I'll be able to, I may have to let this settle down just a little bit. There we go. That is incredibly foamy. <laughs> not sure if it got shook up or what happened, but boy, oh boy, is it foamy. So, I may have to let this settle down just a little bit before I get into too much. I mean, if you look at the very bottom of this glass, you can see a color that is kind of a, oh, kind of a nice uh, mahogany brown, chestnut brown. It's, it's definitely a, a medium to darker amber with this ridiculous head, uh, which is a beige colored sort of tan head. And um, halfway decent clarity. Let's see what I can get through uh, this head and see what else I can pick up on this beer. Mm, there's kind of an interesting fruit character here. It's like a a fig sort of character or something like that. A darker fruit type character, a, almost like a licorice, but not really a black licorice, but there's definitely a dark fruitiness as well. Not picking up a lot of the smoke. I mean, it was supposed to be a smoked brown. I am picking up kind of a nuttiness as well, the, the sweet malts that uh, have that kind of nutty appeal to them. Mm, kind of a grainy, nutty malt character. They say they smoked this on applewood. Hmm. So, but I am picking up the smoke a little bit. It's just not really in my face. I kind of like smoked beers to be really smoky, but as long as that smoke flavor is there, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, check out the taste on this. Hmm. Hmm. My goodness, that's got a nice nutty character to it. Those sweet nutty malts, the caramel uh, chocolate type uh, malts that often accompany a nut, a nut brown of some kind. Mm. Mm. The body falls into maybe, uh, they're definitely in the medium range. Um, you know, so it's a pretty smooth beer. I mean, again, this head is just kind of ridiculous, but I may have, I don't know if I maybe just kind of got shaken up or I don't know I dropped it I don't know what happened but certainly got real heavy on this one highly carbonated hmm but beyond that if you ignore the head and talk about the color and the flavor and the aromas you're getting a really nice nut brown ale uh, with a with a touch of smoke a little bit of chocolate caramel and uh, but the smoke is not really smoky smoky as if like smoked cheese or smoked ham or smoked bacon or something like that it's it's there as sort of a you know, kind of an addition to the rest of the sweet, nutty aromas that accompany this style of beer. Mm. 7.0% doesn't really feel like that to me. Uh, maybe someone who doesn't drink a lot of beer might feel it a little more, but I'm not picking up any alcohol or booze whatsoever. No alcohol bite, anything like that. It really has a nice, smooth finish to it. A very sweet beer with a good, uh, nutty character. And then just a touch of the smoke, just to kind of add that delicate little balance to the beer. Throwback Brewery is open, they have, a, they have a, a tasting room which is open Thursdays through Saturdays. And I've mostly bought their beers in uh, bottles, though I've seen them at some tastings before. I think I've had a chance to try some of their beers at brew fests and things like that that are not the ones that are in the bottles. So that's it's a good thing, but one day I'm going to get myself over to the brewery and uh, check out something they might have there at the brewery only that you can't get. Uh, you know, in the bottle, because their bottles are really kind of starting to show up more and more around New Hampshire in a lot of different stores. So, so really, it's it's a, it's a they they've been 
a pretty good brewery, and uh, the two ladies that run it do a nice job putting together their brews. So this is uh, this is the Throwback Seasonal uh, Throwback Brewery, and this is their um, Double Dippity. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.